Oxygenic photosynthesis is a pathway in which the energy from light separates pairs of electrons from water, generating molecular oxygen. The electrons flow through an electron transport chain and ultimately combine with NADP plus to produce NADPH. During this process, the energy from electron flow is used to pump protons across the membrane. The proton potential then provides the energy to synthesize ATP using ATP synthase. Oxygenic photosynthesis, also called the Z-pathway, is the only biochemical reaction known to produce molecular oxygen. The other products of this pathway, NADPH and ATP, represent the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. NADPH and ATP provide the energy to fix carbon dioxide into biomass. The Z pathway, which is found in cyanobacteria and chloroplasts, uses large membrane-bound complexes called photosystem 1, photosystem 2, and cytochrome BF. The pathway also uses mobile components, quinone, plastocyanin, ferredoxin, and ferredoxin NAD reductase. Photosystem 2 contains a special pair of chlorophyll molecules that participate directly in the photolytic reaction. The energy from a photon of light is ultimately funneled to one of these chlorophyll molecules from other antenna chlorophylls not shown here. In the reaction center chlorophyll, the energy boosts an electron to a higher energy orbital. In this state, the electron can be donated easily to an electron acceptor, leaving the chlorophyll molecule oxidized. To replace the electron, photosystem 2 strips an electron from a molecule of water. The light-driven separation of an electron from a molecule and its transfer to an electron transport system is called photolysis. After two photons have been absorbed, two electrons have been stripped from water. A quinone carries the two electrons within the membrane to the next component in the electron transport chain. The quinone also picks up two hydrogen ions and delivers them to the other side of the membrane. As electrons pass through the cytochrome BF complex, the complex pumps hydrogen ions across the membrane. In photosystem 1, photon absorption energizes an electron from a reaction center chlorophyll causing the electron to jump to the next carriers in the chain. The oxidized chlorophyll can be replenished with an electron from plastocyanin. The extra energy boost from photon absorption enables the electrons to be transferred to ferredoxin and then to ferredoxin NAD reductase and finally to NADP+. The result is a high-energy electron carrier NADPH. After two more photons are absorbed by photosystem 2, molecular oxygen is formed from the original two water molecules. Photosystem 1 also absorbs two additional photons. Ferredoxin NAD reductase produces a second molecule of NADPH. The accumulation of hydrogen ions across the membrane represents potential energy. The hydrogen ions will have a tendency to cross the membrane through ATP synthase. As they do, they provide the energy to join ADP and inorganic phosphate into ATP. More than enough hydrogen ions have been pumped to drive the synthesis of three ATP molecules. From four photons absorbed by photosystem 2 and four by photosystem 1, the Z pathway can consume two molecules of water, two molecules of NADP+, and three molecules of ADP and inorganic phosphate to produce a molecule of molecular oxygen, two of NADPH, and three of ATP. To fix six molecules of carbon dioxide into one molecule of glucose, the process would have to run six times.